Now to a consumer first alert warning about an unexpected check in the mail. Should you cash that unexpected check you find in your mailbox? It looks like free money, looks like a check, but is there a catch? And we're joined by Tammy Elliott today in our newsroom, as we always preview these consumer first alerts, but a new look for you here in the newsroom today. So you've heard from some viewers. Where did you start looking for this? This, this talk about Here's a check for free money. So I had a viewer in Nina who got this letter and the check in the mail, and I said, please share it with me. And, yeah. and, and she wanted to know. She kind of seems suspicious. There's not a lot of information on here. Looks like a marketing mailer for some sort of insurance. It's called. But it looks like a legit check. It does. And it says in here, this is a live check. It's a real check. You can deposit this. It says senior check benefits. And the advice here is really you know, make sure you're knowing what, what's on here and where this information is coming from, which is kind of hard to track down. Okay, so that leads to the obvious question, how'd you track it down? Yeah, so I did a Google search, like okay. you would, right? Senior check benefits, and I always go to the Better Business Bureau to try and find out. Mm -hmm. Well, they do have a listing, very limited information. They don't have an address, a phone number, no specific details on this company, but they did have some reviews and a complaint about people who we're getting these and repeated, and some people just continue to get the so checks what, in the mail. The amount on this one was just ten dollars, and then it says if you cash this, you are agreeing to get some information on what's called final expense life insurance program. You could qualify for up to fifty thousand dollars for expenses, final expenses, not covered by Social Security or the VA. And they say, you know, if you cash this check, that then an agent may contact you. So this, I, this to me looks like snail mail version of click on a link, right? Exactly. right? Because right. once you give them that information, they're in. Right, because the one thing they do request is that you put a good phone number, your working phone number on the back of the check when you endorse it. So they obviously have your address because sure. they sent it to you and now they'd have your phone number. So there's some personal information and they can start calling you. All right, so if someone gets these in the mail, what's the very first step they should take? Well, you have to verify who, where is it coming from? Is it a legitimate company? And do you want to do business with them, right? And should you really give up personal information? I asked both the Better Business Bureau and the Wisconsin Department of Ag Trade and Consumer Protection, what should you do with this? Not necessarily illegal. Better Business Bureau said shady because sure. they don't include a lot of information. So you want to check that out and you don't want to give up personal information. Is it really worth the $10 or $5? Right to give up that and then maybe subject to getting calls or you know business requests from things you're not interested in. Beware of pennies from heaven or in this right. case, you know, ten dollars from right. the heaven. Exactly. It seems a little And someone did sign the check and I can tell you what happens with that in ah, my report. There's tonight. a there's a professional tease right there that's coming up tonight on Action Two News at five. Tammy, thanks. You bet.